WordPress 5.8 is set to be released on July 20th, 2021, and it has a lot of new features and improvements. This is the second major release for 2021. So in this video, I'll show you some of the screenshots and some of the features that are coming out. Hey there, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. If you find value in this video, give it a like. It really does help out. And all the links I talk about, you can find them in the description below. So let's dive in. One of the first things that you'll see in the new WordPress 5.8 is their ability to edit a template editor or have a template editor where you can go in and actually make changes to your actual site. So let me show you what I mean. You can go into a page or a post and see this in action. So I'm going to create a new page and over here on the right, you see a new thing called template. From here, you can either use the default template. You can edit this. This is where the change comes or you can choose from one of these others. So when you go in and edit this, now you are shown this whole area where you can make changes to your logo or certain areas of your block anywhere along the page. And when you switch to this, it allows you to edit anywhere on here. For instance, this is your logo area. You can edit right from here. This is your menu area. When you click on it, now you have a header block that you can use or make changes if you want. When you add a new, when you toggle with new for a block, you can scroll all the way down and here are all of the new theme blocks that you can use. You've got a query loop, which will go through and query your pages, or if you're on a post, it'll query all your posts. So you can bring them back You can show it in an interesting style. You can add or remove post title, content, date, excerpts, featured image. You can also do things like your post comments. You can remove those. A lot of times people want to be able to remove the author or the editor or the modified date. You can easily do that all of it right here. You can also change your navigation or your menu area. So you now have all of this ability to go in here and make changes to anywhere on your page if you want. Now, this is the very beginning to allow this full site editor thing. So be looking out for like WordPress 5.9 and future ones to really see this getting more robust for right now. This is just the introduction and it will really allow the theme developers to create this. Also know that theme developers can also turn this off. So if you're working on a particular theme and if you don't see this, it's likely because of your theme. Now, if you're needing to make some kind of change on your theme or your landing page, say you're wanting to make a landing page now and you don't wanna wait for something like that, then you'll still want to use something like seed prod where you can create beautiful landing pages really quickly, like a sales page, a webinar page and things like that. So you can look at seed prod for doing that right now. Another really cool feature is to be able to manage widgets as blocks. So if we come over to appearance and we go to widgets, you'll now be able to see the ability to block your, your widgets. So as it says, you can now any block to your site's widget area, you don't have to worry about anything. So for instance, this is our widget area for footer. And now we can just make any of these changes, convert them, change them up, group them in certain interesting ways, and then we can use them. For instance, this is my footer widget area, and this is all of the items that if I want to add something or remove something, I can come in here and do it here. The blocks as widgets are going to allow you to bring more customization to your widget area. Now, if you don't want to have the blocks for your widgets area, don't worry, you can turn this off and you can install something called the classic widget plugin that'll allow you to do the old version. The next item that they're going to do is adding support for WebP images. This will let you improve the compression of your images even further if you and you should if you're using compression software and putting your jpeg or png through that this will take it even further and make it even as much as 30 percent smaller than those now the caveat or the downside to this is if you're uploading the webp images directly to your website then there are some older browsers that don't see them and so wordpress won't be able to, to allow you to show the jpeg version or the png version so for now you may want to just stick with the jpeg or png with compression and you can watch this video as i walk you through how to improve your image optimization for your website some of the block editor improvements are for one it makes it easier to select the parent group or the parent item of what you're working on so for instance if we're in this then we can come up here select column and now I am in the column. So now I can work with this column area a lot better. So it's allowing me to make selections on what I'm working on much easier. 
There is also a more improved list view that takes that ability even further. If you come up here and look at list view, where you can see exactly where you are in your post or your layout, and you can select exactly what you want to work on so that you can work on it much easier, make changes over on the right. The selection tool gives you a better outline of what you're working in and also gives you an easier way to move your blocks wherever you need them to go. There is also now a new duotone feature or filter that allows you to create interesting filters over things like your images or your galleries or your cover image. And you have some default ones here that you can apply a duotone or if you would much rather you can come in here and do your own presets to make whatever adjustment you want if you're good at it. If you're not, you can simply clear it and then it'll go back. But some of the preset filters are really cool filters to add. Makes it very striking for your images. Another feature that they have is now a pattern suggestion. You can use the ad block area. And if you start to type something in that you want, then they'll give you a suggestion that might be something worth adding as well. For instance, this is a new pattern that it's suggesting and that makes it look much better than just a button that I wanted to put on here. And then they've also made improvements to existing blocks. For instance, you have a lot more control over color for text color, background color, and link color. And then another cool feature is you now have padding options in between your columns. And the cool thing is you can either set the padding as universal, so it'll affect all of them, or you can break it and choose which padding to do. And then also with the table block, you now have added feature to add gradient to the table block if you want. Aside from that, they've also added some extra items for developers. You can check out the developer part in the link in the description below if you want to find out more about that. So let me know in the comments, like which is your favorite new feature or improvement or enhancement that is coming out in WordPress 5.8. And if you're wanting to create a landing page, make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to create your own landing page for WordPress. And I'll see you over there.